It has been nearly two years since W Connection or the Pro League has had any competitive action. The announcement from the Ministry of Sport is news that is welcomed by the CEO of W Connection, Rennie John Williams. We've been anxiously awaiting the reopening of the sporting industry beyond national programs for quite some time. I mean, understanding fully the parameters within which we now have to operate as we're still in a pandemic, but I think it's very timely as uh, our national programs are back in action and uh, for football at least, getting back into play can mean greater support for the national programs. With no football or sport for that matter during the pandemic, players have moved on to other things. And uh, John Williams says for her club, they are now in a rebuilding mode. Because a lot of our senior players would have moved on to other avenues. Uh, we have always had a strong Caribbean presence and a lot of those players are now back in their home countries, either playing football at the national level or, you know, gone on to other, other ventures. We've had players who have gone abroad seeking different opportunities. So for us, it's a rebuilding process. She says while getting vaccinated is a choice, the message is clear that it has become mandatory to participate. However, these are the regulations that, that have been set forward by the government and uh, a continuous education policy needs to be in place or at least you know, continue to get the conversations out there, answer the right questions, have uh, the, the, the persons equipped with the knowledge to answer these questions or any concerns that a player may have. Um, we really need to have that in place in order for them to understand where we are at. Adding that educating players on this matter is highly important. Kent Fuentes, TTT Sports.